So when you complete the campaign of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, you unlock the museum, a secret bonus mission level where you can walk around a museum inside of California, which is fully decked out to show every single mission in the game as a museum exhibition. But on top of all that, the museum is home to many secrets and Easter eggs, which we are going to be diving in depth into in this video. So regardless if you're a veteran of the museum from the original or this is your first time here we're going to be delving deep to show you the most intricate of details and secrets that i bet you did not know so if you do enjoy this video be sure to let me know down below in the comment section and be sure to watch the entire thing because you're gonna learn something you didn't know before and if you did let me know by leaving a like on the video and for more content like this more regularly in your sub box be sure to hit that subscribe button but here we are my friends straight away in the museum and there's one little easter egg that we can do straight off the bat now we're spawned here very specifically, and that's because if you place your aim right in front of you, you'll have the perfect aim to shoot only Shepard and kill him. And we're right there, boys and girls. We got him. Already, we've just done the Lord's work, and, and it was that easy. Now, this next one's a really cool Easter egg, and it's a throwback to a really awesome weapon in the original Modern Warfare. We see here contingency. This guy right here... If we go behind him, and I feel really bad for doing this. He's actually going to drop a secret gun. Where did that go? <laughs> Where did he just drop it? Right, there it is, right next to Ghost. This is the W1200. And you actually cannot get this in multiplayer or single player on Modern Warfare 2. It literally only exists in the museum, which is pretty cool. So that's a secret little shotgun. I'm going to show you another weird little Easter egg involving some of the weapons. So... We go ahead and look for the FAMAS. It's got a very interesting camo on it. Okay, you see this camo right here? You might think it's like a wintry camo, and in the mission that it's in, it sort of fits it. This is actually just sticky tape plastered onto the gun. I have no idea why. This is not the same for any other weapons, but if you go ahead and pick it up, you can fully see it's just sticky tape all over the weapon. Very strange. Now, this is a really, really cool Easter egg, and it's a reference to the original Modern Warfare from FNG, that very first mission, where you have Price literally reenacting the... what? Hey, what kind of name is Soap, eh? How'd a Muppet like you pass selection? Exactly the same. It's incredible. Exactly the same movement, posing, and everything. It's really cool. On top of another weapon that you cannot find anywhere else is actually a pistol, which you only find in here, which I believe, here we go, the M1911. Any zombie fan will absolutely love and know what this weapon is. Yeah, but this cannot be found in single player and it cannot be found in multiplayer either. I think one of the most stark Easter eggs in the entirety of the museum, which shows just how long in development this was and how long it's been ready for, is the fact that we have so many concept arts, and that's obviously Favela. If we look up to it, concept art 2017, depicting a scene from August 2016, part of the remastered collection acquired by the museum in 2018. And that's not the only painting. There are loads, and you can shoot the, the paintings down, by the way, but you see what I mean? Look at that. This game has, like, been in production slash been done for at least two to four years, which is incredible. And I guess there's an Easter egg within itself. I don't know if they want us to realize that, but the fact is part of the remastered collection makes you question if, you know, there really is going to be another Modern Warfare 3 remaster coming soon, which I assume is something that would happen eventually, but when? We have no clue. But they're proper teasing that it's a thing because it's part of the remastered collection, which would only make sense if there was a third game. Now here we've got the Thumper, which is one of the only weapons we can actually use to take out these divers, which is a feels-bad moment. It is the only way. It feels so bad. But we save the best till last, the most obvious, which is in two out of the three rooms, there is a big red button which tells you do not hold square but obviously we're gonna do it we're gonna cause some chaos here okay so if we hold it we're gonna get some rock music and suddenly everyone is after us so let's bump it out and this never ever gets old this never gets boring to do it's just so fun oh no i just killed so mctavish i oh, know we do have a juggernaut as well 
our first remastered juggernaut. How many hits is this boy going to take? So when you're going through this, you're going to have some heavy rock music. Oh my god, am I going to get... No. <laughs> no, of course not. Get some heavy rock music. And it will play until you've completed said do not hold square ambush. The music keeps playing. That means that there's someone still alive. And there we go. That room's completed. It's this little vehicle room here. It doesn't have a red button. But the first room we were in, it does. And uh, we can have some fun with this. If you go to Intels and you've collected all the Intels, we can make this incredibly, incredibly hilarious. So if we do Danger Close and do not hold, every enemy is now General Shepard, which is, which is wild. Okay, we've got a dog. No, not today, my friend, not today. But look at this. There is just General Shepard everywhere. And we can have some real fun with this as well. Let me put on Think Fast. Watch this. <laughs> we can kill General Shepherds with footballs. And they just go flying as well. They just go crazy. Look, here we go. He's supposed to be like flashbangs of sorts. Okay, let's get the thumper out for this one. Oh, that felt bad. Oh, this is just too easy. It's just too easy. Love that boy. Oh, we've got one more. He's, just, he's hiding with a riot shield. Of course you are. And there we go. That is all she wrote. And if that's your first time doing that, then you will get yourself a lovely trophy. But if you use cheats, then I don't think you'll get it. You'll just have to disable them and try it again. That's a look at the museum, my friends, and all the Easter eggs that it holds. If you enjoyed this video and you found it enjoyable and informative, do let me know down below in the comment section. Drop it a like rating. And be sure to check the playlist link below where I've got tons and tons of other Modern Warfare Remastered videos covering all Easter eggs in the campaign. We've got loads of uh, loads and loads of videos. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.